Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. This female West African Green Mamba, while caught, came in perfectly okay. Uh, was eating like a pig. Uh, had a bad shed. Clean that up. And uh, now she's not eating at all and has uh, what looks to be quite a, a bad mouth infection. Um, so we're going to very carefully uh, try to work with her. Yeah, I know I see her neck flare. Yeah, she's going to be a little rocket. She is going to be a rocket. Uh, we're going to try uh, the plastic bag uh, uh, technique which my friend Don uh, showed me. May or may not work. I'm not an expert at it. All depends on the locking ability of, of the bag. The idea is to get the Mamba uh, to run down the tube and then you can uh, weigh the mamba in the bag, give it an injection, and, uh, uh, and all that good jazz. So, here goes uh, nothing. Hi, girly, I know, you're ready to scoop, huh? You're ready to scoop. I'm sorry, but I really want to want to take care of your uh, your malady there. Come on. Not all at once. The backup plan is to throw her in the tub uh, and uh, get her to... Yeah. Go down the tube. Yeah. No, you're not going to do that, are you? You're not going to do that, are you? Yeah, right now she's really frightened. I'm surprised she hasn't come shooting out like a rocket. Just give her time. She will do that, I'm certain. Hi, yeah, I know I see you up there. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. Alright. I know. I know. Yeah. There we go. Let her tire out. Um, yeah, I know, I know. I know. Oh, let's just restrain your head. Now go the other way. I don't want you going towards me. I know you want to bite me. I know. Oh, well look at that. That's, that's not so good. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Look at that.
you have one heck of a necrotic mouth there. Uh, that whole section of jawbone is dead. I know. Oh, that's bad news, huh? Well, we're really sorry that that uh, that's happened. You know, that's part of my problem. Is uh, you know, I work for a living. I don't do this full time. Okay, girly, just relax. I know you want to bite. And, you know, all the, all the time I spend on the road, uh, prevents me from giving animals, uh, the complete care that, that they deserve. Careful, easy, easy. Yeah, we'll still, let's still get this little bit of dead tissue off. I know, I know. Do this as gentle as we can. There we go. Mm, a crusty there. Okay. So now what I got here is some hydrogen peroxide, which. We'll use to cleanse the tissue in that area. And, uh, it's not a good view from up there, but it's an okay view. She's uh, foaming at the mouth now, uh, like everybody who gets uh, hydrogen peroxide in their mouth. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we'll try to get that down here. I know. I have to be careful swinging my arms around because uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to inadvertently impale myself on mamba fangs, which I've never done before, but I've done it with other snakes. Okay. Okay. You want to bite this? Will that make you feel better? Huh? Actually, it's probably best that she doesn't bite much of anything because because we don't want to we don't want her to injure herself any worse than she already is. Look, folks, I'm sorry, I'm not really paying much attention to the camera. I'm paying attention to this poor girl uh, that I've got here in my little fingers who could really cause me some great harm. I know, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna do that too, huh? Yeah, I know, that's, that's close to the bitey points, huh? Okay. Okay, so now we went and we rinsed it out. Huh? Come on, hydrogen peroxide does it taste well and can actually, whoa, kill you. Here, keep your mouth, your glottis closed. Alright, now it's all pink. Now it's all pink. So now we will, uh, we will try this getting her to go down uh, the tube. No, we don't want you to come back this way. Go ahead. Go ahead. Down the tube. Go ahead. Go ahead. This way. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
Don, this really works well. Thanks for this. Uh, okay, it's my first... Uh, hey, my fingers are there. Hey! Well, that didn't work. Back up. Okay, what I gotta do is I gotta get her weight. And uh, all that good jazz. So I can give her the proper dose of medication. is to weigh her and uh, uh, get uh, a proper dose of medication for her. I did not culture it. I don't know what it is. Um, but uh, I am going to use uh, something that should take care of it and why she's in her cage. Uh, why she's in the tub and stuff. I will clean it. And uh, get some other things going. I think we need a bigger bag. We have uh, uh, the dosage calculated. Uh, unfortunately, the Emma Kaysen I purchased is a rather uh, hefty human sort of strength. It's 250 milligrams per milliliter. The dosage for the snake is uh, two milligrams, um, uh, which means if I dilute, uh, if I take uh, a, a tenth of a milliliter, uh, of the amication is still twice as strong. Uh, or is about the right dose, uh, but at any rate, uh, I've diluted it down in, in saline. I've taken 0.05 mils of amicase and diluted it in, uh, uh, in the rest uh, up to a mil with saline. And since she hasn't eaten in a while and is a bit on the dehydrated side, I am going to uh, uh, rehydrate her after I give her the injection and then take her across the way and toss her back in her little abode and 
That means in three days time, uh, I have to do this all over again. But at least I don't have to weigh her or that sort of thing. I already got her, her weight and stuff. So now the attempt will be uh, to get her to go up the tube. I know this is wishful thinking and actually to a great extent I think uh, uh, tubing is far more dangerous than actually just uh, pinning the snake and getting it over with. Uh, um, just my opinion, that's what I did in the other room right off the bat, but we shall see. Be a little rocket, hello. I see your little pointy end is flared. Hmm? You are going to be a rocket. Sort of have to goose her. Yeah, I know. Well, hell, that's a hell of a good place to have your head if I wanted to pin it right there. Since you cooperated, that's exactly what I would do. Okay. I see you're all dehydrated, huh? Now you can see that there's quite a divot missing there from for me debriding all the dead tissue. Overall, it doesn't look too bad. Hi, I know, I see you. I'm so sorry we have to meet under such bad conditions. But, uh, this is the way it goes. Now, probably, we'll just let that part coil around me. We'll do this, because uh, this will be uh, hopefully not painful. I'm using uh, this new variety of cannula that uh, some people at the neuroscience show uh, gave me a whole bunch of samples to, to try. They're disposable. They've got really nice tips. Uh, if anyone who does force feeding uh, wants to talk to me about it, I will I'll give you the supplier's name. The problem is, for our purposes, because it's a scientific tool, um, it's rather expensive, uh, but, you know, if, if several of us uh, uh, went in on a box of them, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? No, that was much easier than the ones you've been using. Well, it's a little bit more stiff, and for the smaller snakes, I've got a variety of sizes. The people were very generous. Uh, actually, uh, the two attendants at the booth were, were really uh, excited and wanted to hear all the Viper Keeper stories I could provide them for when I had time. Um, keep, your, keep them to yourself, please. Now the nice thing about amicacin is it can be given intramuscularly or subcutaneously. Now let me pick another spot because that sort of 
bulged up. You know, it's a whole ML, so we'll have it absorbing from from two sites, not one. And we're done until every 72 hours. So today is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday night. We get to have this fun all over again. I'm so looking forward to that, miss. <laughs> But look how dehydrated she is. Yeah, she's looking pretty bad. Um, she's been eating, but, but really not drinking. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. But hopefully this will make you feel better. Um, you know, uh, sweetie, pull back, uh, pull the end off the, the feeding tube. Do it and again. And suck up another one. We'll give you some more while we're here because it's my my standard Pedialyte uh, chicken food, uh, chicken baby food, and uh, uh, wanted to just set the camera down and, and make it easy on yourself. Uh, yep. I do this all the time. Yep, yep. Okay. I'll give you a little bit more. You're really dehydrated. You really need this. Huh? Oh, it goes down much easier the second time. Oh, I know. Look at those fangs. They're saying, oh, please come closer. No whipping. No whipping. We don't want any whipping. See, now, if you look in its mouth, that's what you have to watch out for, that you don't stick the cannula down their windpipe because that will be instantaneously fatal uh, to the snake. Okay, you're not liking this right now. Oh, I just so much love when they have total control over me because I don't have her, she has me. And that's very disconcerting. <laughs> uh, because she could bite the snot out of me and there is nothing in the world that I could do about it. Oh, and she does have you. Yes, mm. yes. If you go through my archives of video, um, there's one... Uh, where I was capturing and bagging a western green just like this except twice the size and I think it was called who has who and it was it was such a bad situation that uh, I was thinking of getting my pocket knife out and cutting the snake's head off uh, to save myself uh, because the snake was really in control and I wasn't. Can you bring my hook, please? Now, I would have loved to have started uh, treatment a long time ago, but my work schedule prevents me. You know, you got to give the antibiotics on schedule, on time, um, uh, otherwise, these organisms, one, the animal is not effectively treated, B, you cause the bacteria that's causing the infection to become resistant to the antibiotic. Uh, so if I'm traveling, there's no one here that can give in, uh, treat, pin, inject uh, at all. And, you know, normally like places, you know, Jim and Kristen's, the Catoctin Zoo, or any other zoo, they have a whole group of staff that can help out. Well, uh, I'm here by myself. Mrs. Viper Keeper helps, but I keep her out of harm's way as, as much as possible. Uh, so, for which I'm extremely grateful. Yes, uh, so I'm here in the office for the week, so... I can give the snake probably at least uh, a full week of injections. Uh, it'll get at least five doses every three days. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, she's exhausted now. See, the problem is, you know, handling and doing all this stuff to, to snakes and stuff is it stresses them out and further depresses their immune system. Now. This little sucker doesn't stress out at all. Uh, he's totally un unafraid of me. Uh, uh, and Yeah, he's giving me the middle tail figure there. Uh, oh, twitching too, you little toad. Uh, he has no fear at all. He's like, ah, come on, I'll have at you. He's like that, yeah, in the Monty Python movie. Come back here, I'll bite your leg off. 
he doesn't care. Okay, sweetie, just chill out. I'll offer you some food tomorrow. Hopefully you'll eat it.